Hello everyone, this is Dr. David Julio from Ozen Engineering and in this video I will give an overview of using Arm Expert to design an induction three-phase machine. Arm Expert is a template-based tool using industry-based templates to design rotating machines and Arm Expert is included with Antis Maxwell. So starting from the top, this is the design. So there are different settings to apply for the machine. Here is some information you would find in the nameplate of a motor. Moving on to the stator, other other settings to apply. So we have the, the dimensions of the, the stator, the steel type, the slot type, etc. These materials are industry-based materials. We have a large library of materials to choose from, and you most likely be able to find the material you're looking for and want to use. Moving on to the slot types. So based on the slot type design you choose from, based on the industry-based templates and slots, you will be able to, conf to configure the settings for those slots. Here in the property and moving on to the winding there are three winding types to choose from editor hold coiled half coiled these are industry-based winding types as well and for the rotor rotor information must be input for the dimensions of the rotor number of slots slot type you're able to choose from four options based on industry-based templates and the properties for the slot type are available. Once you select the slot type from the template, you'll be able to choose the ventilation of the rotor, the vent ducts, dimensions, etc. for the vent. Choose the winding type of the rotor, which can be bar conductor type. And you, you could choose the material from the library and moving on, it's straightforward to set up a design and run the simulation. So I'll remove the messages here so you can see that quickly the simulation converges in seconds. So there it is, it's done. We have results. Now the results, if you go to results, create our expert report, rectangular plot, for example, these are the results you're able to choose from to develop plots so we can see current input current versus speed output power versus speed torque versus speed so these are the default results you are able to plot and you can use these default results to derive it expressions apply expressions to develop plots and you can see in this example I use um, simulation data in an expression to derive a plot for the output power, which is the, I believe which curve, it's the red curve, and it matches nicely with the output power from the default arm expert results. And similarly for the current, I've used expressions for the input current, which matches with RM expert default plots. This is an example of the torque versus speed plot. And I've used simulation data to derive the line-to-line -line voltage of the terminals to the stator. And I use expressions to derive the flux linkage and use expressions to develop plot for the efficiency and compare with RM expert results. And we see they match very closely. And finally, I use an expression to derive output torque versus output power. Now, all of these curves are available automatically by default in, in the solution data. So basically you go to, once the simulation is complete, right click results, click solution data. Here you will see information for performance and we have options to select well, which performance data you would like to see, breakdown operation, Etc. You can see the list here. You can pause the video and read it yourself. And we have design data. I mean, uh, design design sheet data. Um, some of this information you would find 
you know, manufacturer's data sheet. And we have default um, curves from the solution data. Our ARM expert automatically produces all of these curves for you to view phase current versus speed, efficiency versus speed, etc. I'll just scroll down. You can pause the video, you can read all the plot types, all the curves. All right, so it's very straightforward. So, in a matter of seconds, you will be able to design a motor design which is, um, gives you analytical results. Now, if you want, our expert can create automatically for you a FEM Maxwell model, either 2D or 3D. So, for example, you right click the setup, then you go down create Maxwell design. You could choose 2D design or 3D design. Let's start with the 2D design. Okay. In a matter of seconds, it'll be done. And everything will be set up. All, all the boundary conditions, excitation set up, everything will be 100% done. All you will need, all you would need to do then is just run the simulation and analyze the results. As simple as that. So this is a, it automatically creates for you a, a quarter symmetry model. You can easily convert this to a full model. And I'm not gonna go through the process of creating the 3D model, but here it is. It takes a little more than a few seconds. It's, it's about like a minute and a half for ARM expert to create this quarter symmetry 3D model of the induction motor. But again, it, it already sets up for you everything. The boundary conditions, excitation settings, winding setup, everything's done. All you need to do is just run the simulation and analyze the results. That is all for this video. Hope you liked it. I, I had also created a blog associated with this video and I have posted the link to the blog in the description of this video. If you have any questions or you would like service with the project, need help with the project, contact us. Visit our website at ozeninc.com and you may email me using information in the blog or, and also in the description of the link of this video. Thank you very much. And I will create another video for you soon.